In fact, for middle and low income Americans, things have been going down. So, so what is the true rate of unemployment as we call it? What we do is we take the very conservative Bureau of Labor Statistics headline number, and we filter it for people who want a full-time job, but can't get one. The second thing we filter for is if you're unable to earn above a poverty wage. Now, poverty wage is defined in the country by uh, the federal government. Uh, it's done state by state. Um, and uh, I think the um, lowest state is like $21,800, something like that. We set a $20,000 line. In other words, if you're not able to earn $20,000, uh, we count you as unemployed in terms of what is what, what do most people think of as employed? They think of somebody who wants a full-time job, they get it, I believe, and that they can earn enough to put food on the table for themselves and their family, in other words, more than a poverty wage. If you do that, in, in January this year, when the unemployment was supposed supposedly 3.6%, in fact, it was 23.4%. For Black Americans, it was 28.9%. Uh, uh, and, and, and for Hispanic Americans, 26.9 and women, 28.2. So a really different picture. Uh, uh, a very significant part of America in the best month we've had during the uh, last four or five years, and it was, uh, by headline numbers, a good month period, really a quarter of America can't earn above a poverty wage. Yeah, look, it's shocking. It was shocking even to me. I, I thought, and I asked people the question because see if they were as shocked as I was. But if you if you do these filters and you look at it in terms of earning a real wage, what do you think? And they said, you know, they they double it. They'd say uh, seven point nine. How about 14 percent? And you say twenty six. They you know are astounded. I was astounded because it's so terrible. Uh, we can't have ongoing, a functional society, an America that really is going to hold together, uh, one that we can be proud of, if a quarter of, uh, of our population can earn more than a poverty wage and they want to work. These, these, by the way, are people who are trying to get a job. The, the Bureau of Labor Statistics and we basically only count in these numbers people who have tried to get a job in the last four weeks. So this isn't people who have checked out, uh, et cetera. So if you're trying to get a job and you want a full-time job, you, you tell me you, you, you a quarter of America can't earn a living wage? That's terrible. But things have changed. Uh, so, for example, the cost of health care, the cost of education, uh, in many places, the cost of housing is dramatically uh, more expensive uh, than it was uh, even back in 1995. So um, what was calculated as a poverty wage then, uh, we think produced a very different environment for middle and low income Americans. Or another way to say this is our guess is, and we're doing a lot of work on this now, is that things actually have gotten worse because the things that people need to have the possibility of an American dream for themselves and, uh, and their, their family uh, 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 have gone up in price vastly more than any increase in wages. I grew up in central Pennsylvania. And uh, in my days, when I was growing up, at least in my own mind, it's kind of an idyllic time. When I've been back uh, uh, more recently, I've seen a marked decline in the well-being of, of those central Pennsylvania communities. Uh, similarly, when I travel around the United States, because uh, I often advise community banks, little community banks around the country, I see that kind of decline in many American cities. It explains to me a lot of things. Uh, we've had unrest in the country. Uh, you know, see it on the streets. Uh, you know, part of that is obviously um, based on 
the, for example, the George Floyd situation. But I believe part of it is based on the tremendous frustration at being at these terrible numbers. So even back in January, when supposedly the unemployment rate was 3.6%, the true unemployment rate for Black Americans was 289 Even for women, you would say, well, you know, how much discrimination? 282 So terrible rates of unemployment create great levels of frustration. The more I've looked into this, I feel pretty strongly that a big part of the answer is to think about the American economy as a business person would think about a business. When you're starting a business, when you want to grow a business, when you want to have, and, and to grow a business, by the way, well, you have to have, you know, employees, all your employees excited about doing their job and moving the business along. What do you do? You invest in the business. So what we ought to be doing, in my view, is investing massively in the American economy and making sure that that investment is such that it's shared equitably in terms of its outcome for all Americans, particularly middle and low income Americans. Uh, my, my thought is what you would do in that investment is number one, massive infrastructure spend to get people back to work that pays good wages, construction, et cetera. Second thing, is that uh, where I'd be investing a lot of money is in education and career opportunities post high school. It doesn't have to be college. It can be, you know, real uh, trade opportunities for folks. God knows we need them. One other thing, and that is that this is an urgent problem. This isn't like, you know, a problem that we can basically say, oh, that's kind of interesting. You know, well, let's see what happens next month, next year. This problem's been going on for a time getting worse. If we don't do that, we are going to inherit not only a population that can't compete globally and, a, and an economy that will be headed down as a general rule for everybody, but also we're going to head into a, an era of civil unrest. People are not going to basically sit still. A quarter of the population in our best month, 30%, uh, a third of the uh, Black community for not being able to, whatever they do, uh, earn above a poverty wage.